Shipping and Aviation Minister Nimal Siripala da Silva said that Sri Lanka will participate in the Global Maritime India Summit 2023, which will be held in Mumbai, India, from October 17 to 19. The minister emphasized this during a conference organized by the High Commission of India in Sri Lanka to inform the Sri Lankan business community and stakeholders engaged in the naval and maritime sector about the Global Maritime India Summit 2023 at the Taj Samudra Hotel in Colombo. Addressing the conference, Minister Nimal Siripala da Silva said that the 2023 Global Maritime Summit, which will be held in Mumbai, India next October, is the best opportunity to resolve the issues affecting Sri Lanka in the global maritime and maritime sector. He also thanked the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Government of India as the minister in charge for this opportunity. The minister said that as a country located in the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka is showing successful progress in the field of merchant shipping and that special security measures should be implemented for the ships that use the Indian Ocean region for which Sri Lanka will take steps to submit a series of proposals to the conference. We do consider this summit as a summit which is very much important. To us, we in the Indian Ocean, our neighbours, and the Indian Ocean belongs to us. So, we need to secure it. We need to ensure the safety of the naval, all the vessels which are running in the Indian Ocean and also the maritime safety as well as our ports which cater to the needs of uh, the transshipment as well as uh, other shipping areas. Our ports has to be in par with all the other developed ports in the world. Because maritime industry is an industry which is changing day by day. If you take the old maritime industry, when uh, some kings came from India to Sri Lanka, they came in vessels where there were no Machines, no engines, no fuel. They were depending on the natural waves. So now that has changed. Now the maritime industry is a very sophisticated industry. In time to come, it is going to be more sophisticated. For example, green hydrogen, green ammonia, zero emission. Now, how are we going to cope up with this? You need the science, technology, innovation and the adaptation of all these innovative activities. So therefore, the growing maritime industry, we have to acquire and absorb this knowledge to all our ports, all our countries, whether we are big, small or not. So therefore, International collaboration, exchange of uh, knowledge and technology is a vital factor for the sustainable growth of maritime industry in the Indian Ocean. Therefore, it is very necessary that uh, all the partners will fall in line with the correct policy and innovation and ensure that our maritime industry is a sustainable industry, secure industry and financially viable and economical industry. Otherwise, we can't survive within the competitive world. All of you who are present here and those of our friends and colleagues who are not here also but represent interest in shipping. Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka Gopal Bagle also expressed his views at the event and the Secretary of the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways of the Government of India TK Ramakandran and other officials spoke about the Global Maritime India Summit 2023 via Zoom technology. There are partner countries 
more than a dozen already have signed up that just gives a glimpse of uh, the indian so this is what the next couple of decades decade in terms of opportunity for further collaboration uh, india the conversion rate is around a healthy 70% so we have uh, various uh, sessions wherein like everyone will be a global maritime india summit this year is uh, ports of the future we are honored to note that the uh, honorable minister for more latest news subscribe to fttv